Now, Governor Herbert's communications director, Marty Carpenter, just stepped out of that radio interview to speak with us. Thanks so much, Marty, for joining us. Also, we have Vivian Lee, CEO of University of Utah Healthcare. Thank you for being here as well. Uh, uh, first, Marty, I think the interesting reaction from the governor saying he was surprised at this. I think a lot of people were reading between the lines here. Um, what does this signal to the governor about the future of this uh, massive investment? Well, what's concerning to the governor is a matter of process here. The Senate had just barely passed an amended bill, what we're calling Healthy Utah 2.0, a lot of what Lori just described. It's a two-year program. Mm -hmm. It's all paid for up front with Medicaid-restricted funds that we already have as a state. The cost is relatively minimal to us, and the return is about 37 to 1. I mean, you had the $944 million that come back to us in taxes we're already paying. So the governor wants to, to at least have the process go forward where the House has to discuss, debate, hear public comment on the new Healthy Utah 2.0 bill, and from there we can have an up or down vote. Stopping uh, the process right now is not helpful to anyone and really cuts short. Uh, uh, that's why it's alarming to the governor. Dr. Lee, what would you say to, to those maybe out there, um, of course, the University of Utah healthcare system on board with this plan? If it doesn't go through, what happens next? Well, we, we support the Governor's Healthy Utah plan because it's really the right thing to do. We know that there are about 90,000 people across Utah who right now are not receiving health insurance. They worry every day when their kids get sick, when their parents get sick, when their spouses get sick. And if we can embrace the Governor's Healthy Utah plan, which I think financially makes sense, those people can have that assurance of knowing that if something happens, they can receive that health care. Talking about process here, Marty, what is the process going forward? Will there be language between the governor, Speaker Hughes, to move this forward? I would imagine there are a lot of conversations being had. Well, from the time that the uh, House leadership made their comments yesterday, there's been a lot of uh, action sort of behind the scenes. Certainly, we've spent a lot of today talking about this. The governor wants people to understand exactly what's happened. It's easy to come out and say, oh, the bill is dead. But in fact, it's far from that and could be resurrected very easily if, it, if it's ready to go through the process. I think the uh, first part that we're concerned about is process. The second thing to really think about is that uh, not voting on this, the same as what would have been a no vote on this bill, uh, essentially amounts to giving the federal government $800 million of Utah taxpayer money every year and getting virtually nothing in return. Uh, from a conservative standpoint, that just doesn't seem to be the right policy. Now, the governor mentioned a number of times this morning in his news conference that this isn't about political gamesmanship, this isn't about who wins or who loses, we want to have the process go forward so we can have an open public debate so that we can really get the right policy. What we want is the right thing for Utah. We happen to feel that that's bringing those taxpayers to put them back to work here in Utah, helping people who are uh, living around the federal poverty level purchase private insurance and get the coverage they need. And Dr. Lee, I don't know oh, if yes. people realize it, but we are already paying those taxes anyway. So if we decide not to expand Healthy Utah, we still have to pay into that federal tax bucket that is expanding Medicaid across states and other, all the other states. And we're saying, no, thank you, we don't want our share. It's not do we want to pay the money. The money's being paid. It's do we want any benefits from it at all. The governor says we should get those benefits. So do you expect that we will see a vote on this? Well, we're always, uh, the governor likes to say optimism, uh, hope springs eternal, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, we're certainly going to put as much pressure on as we can. We're encouraging anyone uh, who has uh, some concern with this issue to reach out to their legislators, specifically in the House. It's already passed the Senate. Reach out to your representatives. Let them know that you want this process to go forward. Let them know that you support the Health of Utah, or at least support the process moving forward so we can have an open and public debate. We certainly appreciate you too, Marty Carpenter, Vivian Lee being with us this afternoon debating this very hot topic, Healthy Utah.